Today on 10 Minute Idea Jams, we're joined by Anthony Gunatalek, who is the Group President of Technology and Head of Strategy at Amdocs. Today, the role of communications and the media industry is more vital than ever before, providing the lifeblood of connectivity and access to crucial information and entertainment. Amdocs solutions and services help its customers create the seamless digital experiences that improve lives across the globe. Anthony joins us today to tell us more about Amdocs and what they're doing in the APEC region. Thank you for coming along, Anthony, and welcome to the jam. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. You're very welcome. Uh, let's just jump straight into it. For a business that hasn't worked with Amdocs before, what are your key products and offerings? So we essentially focus on the communications uh, service industry. So whether it be wireless players, cable players, fiber, um, you know, the, the big, think of it, the big telecommunications providers around the world globally. Um, we have around 30,000 employees um, operating over 90 countries, uh, been around for about 40 years. Now, you know, most people haven't really heard about us, uh, but on the back end, like if I, I'm in Dallas, Texas right now, for example, if you're in the US, it's pretty hard to make a phone call without touching an Amdocs system in some shape or form. Um, so that's basically who we are. But now, what are the most recent improvements or innovations in Amdocs offerings? So um, probably several years ago, you know, we we kind of replatformed our entire suite of products. So we provide basically, if you're a service provider today, you can come and get the full stack from us all the way from your commerce and self-service and your app engines on how you sell products all the way to your network orchestration and provisioning and everything in between. And so we replatform and really um, moved it to be cloud native, running on the cloud, um, allowed our customers to be cloud agnostic. So if they want to run on Microsoft or if they want to run on AWS or Google, they have the choice in order to do that. Um, and this was very pivotal as our customers started to migrate to the cloud um, en masse. I, I would say the, the second thing is around 5G. Um, you know, 5G is rolling out very heavily all around the world. Uh, you know, I don't think there is an ad on TV today that you see that's not mentioned the word 5G. Um, you know, even though people are very familiar with it, there are a lot of complexities in terms of implementing it, making it seamless and connecting it. You know, I always joke around at the end of the day, you know, if uh, Gmail is down or WhatsApp is down, people are like, ah, you know, I'll try back in a few hours. But if your phone service is down, you know, it's not a happy day for anyone. Well, now, what trends are your product development teams laser focused on at the moment? Look, I think um, it's probably, you know, a cliche right now, but we are very much on top of how we utilize generative AI throughout our platform, how our customers utilize it, how they roll it out. I just landed back from San Francisco after spending some time with the open AI guys. Um, and the future is very, very exciting. Now, yes, there are things we need to consider. There are things we need to look at in the implementation and how we use the technology, uh, but what it brings to bear and how it can be utilized to, to just better people's lives are phenomenal. And I think, you know, we're just at the cusp of it rolling out. So we are very focused on it, our teams. I don't think there is one team in Amdocs that's not working on some project. I think we, we at last count, there was... 80 odd projects around generative AI focused on different things just within the company. Um, so I would say that that would be the number one thing. Um, the number two thing is this notion that we call ubiquitous connectivity. Um, and that is like, just connect me. It doesn't matter where I am, right? It doesn't matter if it's a Wi Fi service or 5G or an LTE or even satellite nowadays. Just connect me. Just give me the best speed I can get, the fastest, most reliable, dependable connection. Because, you know, our lives have changed, right? I mean, in a post-COVID world, um, there is no workplace and home anymore necessarily. The lines have been blurred. Um, you know, I, I was telling someone the other day that, you know, um, over here in the US, we have a thing where, where it's called car pickup lines, where parents go to school to pick up their kids, right? So if you drive up, depending on what time you get there, you see this long line of parents lined up. And I counted... And I'm sure I missed some, but there were at least seven parents sitting in their car, parked there, waiting for their kids, doing a Zoom call and, and you know, probably work related. Right. So, again, it doesn't matter if you're at home. It doesn't matter if you're at work. It doesn't matter if you're waiting to pick up your kids from school. Connectivity is so paramount. And, and not just that, but 
everything gets connected, right? So 10 years ago, you know, it was just my iPhone that was connected. Today, I have my, you know, Apple Watch that has a SIM card, my phone, my iPad, my laptop, my car has a SIM card connected to it. So just me, Anthony, you know, I have five or six connections. So multiply this. Um, so connectivity and ubiquitous connectivity is just really become paramount. Well, now I was going to ask you about generative AI, so you beat me to the punch there. Uh, well, now, what infrastructure or resources does Amdocs have in the APAC market? Yeah, so we, you know, all the way from uh, New Zealand, where you are, to Australia, uh, as you can see, I'm originally from Australia. So, uh, you know, although I live here in the US, uh, I have a sweet spot for the region. Uh, we have we have around um, 15,000 plus people. Um, you know, uh, we have sites in India, in Manila, in the Philippines, Singapore, Indonesia, Australia, New Zealand. Um, so we have a fairly good presence out there. Um, and look, I, I have to tell you, I mean, there is some amazing innovation that comes out of the APAC region, right? Um, just innovation because of necessity sometimes. But some of the really cool ideas that we look at, you know, even, even when we implement our systems, we go, oh, we didn't think about that use case, but that's really amazing. So, so some of these things that are coming out of there, we take, repackage, and of course, you know, roll out to North America to our bigger customers, and of course, vice versa, right? So when you have the AT&Ts, the Verizons, the T-Mobiles of the world as our customers, scale is very, very important. You know, you're talking about 100 million customers plus, and so you know, we always take that what we learn, it, all our experience from there, and also bring it to the region. Well, now, I guess one last question to finish off. Uh, if an enterprise end user wanted to engage with Amdocs, uh, what's the best way for them to go about doing that? Probably, look, the easiest way is just go to amdocs.com. The contact us is, you know, top right-hand side, go click on it. But, you know, I'm on, on social media, this underscore Anthony G. You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. You know, I'm more than happy to, you know, get the right pe people talking to, you know, whatever your needs are. Awesome. Well, it has been a pleasure having you on the jam, Anthony, and learning more about Thank Amdocs you. and what you guys do. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from Amdocs very soon. Great. Thanks for having me.